Hi there guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Now, quick question for you. Do you hate these fucking things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I reckon there's a good chance uh, if you're watching this, you probably hate fucking malice clips. They can burn in hell, uh, as far as I'm concerned. If you have taco pouches, I guarantee you know what I'm talking about. Just a horrible idea. The basic idea behind them was um, back in the day, some part of the US government, part of the DOD, whatever, they patented the, the webbing straps with the press studs to go on the back of pouches. Companies like Tactical Tailor and stuff, they couldn't build pouches with that, so they had to come up with something else. Now, granted, they work. I, I don't like them. They're bulky, fat, and heavy, and overly rigid. Just the bulk is the main thing. The, the shape and the, the overall size of them for what they do is just massively excessive. It's, it's a just a terrible idea and when you, when you try enough different gear companies and see what different options they have you realise how bad they are. Now what I've picked up lately, what I've seen come to the market quite recently is these funny look, looking fuckers uh, and these are called What The Fix straps, WTF IX straps by a company called Whiskey24. They started making gear, a lot of laser cut, very modern stuff and we started out making stuff for paintball and they've expanded out and they're doing all sorts of things now. They, they, they do a few little different products, we'll take a look at a couple of them, but the main things are these straps which are a replacement for Malice and um, Quick Sticks and the, the, the various other options that are out there. So if you have a pouch that has to use Malice, you're going to want to check these out. So we'll, we'll put these down on the tabletop and take a look. So we've got this first bit of Chester gear and it's set up with two types of pouches that use our fucking friend here, the, uh, the Malice Clip. We've got this mil spec monkey admin pouch and we've got two HSGI pistol tacos. And what I've done is I rigged up so we've got one malice clip here and one whiskey 24 attachment strap here and then similar story we've got one pistol taco with a malice and the other with the with the hyperlon strap. So I've, uh, I've used this in an airsoft game, held up just fine. The straps, you know, they never like came detached or anything from running, jumping around, crawling around, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so you know, certainly, I can say from from the shooting stuff I did over in the states, there's nothing really in terms of uh, your, your normal running around that's going to cause these things to uh, to come detached on you and for you to lose your pouches. I can't tell you, I can't tell you for sure, obviously, that they're going to hold up in a war zone, but you know. I can't, uh, I can't test that immediately, the, the military isn't going to let me just do nip over there just for a test. These um, Swapping these into the, the pouches that usually use Malice has uh, definitely not been a problem, it's not caused any disadvantages, is a, a lighter lower profile option. Now with a chest rig like this, we've got a backing to it and you can you can sort of, it's not going to show on the camera so much, but you can sort of, uh, like there's the, the connection block on a, which is just this piece on, on one of the mouse clips and um, I would imagine if you're wearing the rig for long enough and you just had like a combat shirt or a t-shirt on that could possibly be a, a bit of a tension point, a pressure point it could rub after a while um, but it's not too bad when you've got this backing on it similar thing over here uh, but then again, for the sake of like a couple of dollars though, I think these are a pretty nice option. And obviously the main thing is if you use if you want to use something like the, the new Blue Force gear chest rig, like the Rack Minus, where there's just no backing piece, and you've just got the, the backs of the pouches exposed, if you've got these big plastic blocks like just rubbing up into your skin all the time, it's just not going to be very good. Obviously it depends, it's going to vary on your clothing, but it's just never, uh, never particularly nice I don't think. And if you have a lot of these malice clips, like if say if all these pouches were malice clips, the whole the whole back of this would just be a, a mess of like hard plastic and uh, just not very enjoyable to wear. As another example, got a different chest rig set up here, and in order to add a hydration pouch on the back, I've got this Patrol Instant Gear Hydro, and on the lower strap, it's just got these metal eyelets, and then the uh, the lower back strap just goes through there, but then up here, the only way really to attach it was using Malice. And, uh, as you can see, there would be nothing in between your back and the uh, 
nice big plasticky chunks there and I think anyone who's walked a long way with gear on be it in a military context like tabbing or whatever um, you know you're going to know that's going to rub or whether it's civilian or whatever you're doing hiking long distances long time wearing any sort of backpacks or any military or civilian kit having that pressed right up against you again if you're just in like a t-shirt or a combat shirt which is obviously uh, just a t-shirt in the body then yeah having that digging into your back the whole time as you're walking the kit's moving up and down it's just gonna it's just gonna be bad times really so you can quite easily just pop these off use that clip instead now I've not tested this on this setup yet but I would say the Hyperlon straps is gonna be a pretty good alternative and it's certainly gonna get rid of uh, rid of that issue so a couple of other products to mention from wiki241 I'm here just quickly they also make these little replacement zipper balls they sent me a few so you've got your standard paracord and then you've just got these little hyperlon alternatives that's how they come slim low profile nice and light won't soak up water uh, are they as tough as the paracord mm, I'm not gonna say probably not um, but any pouch you've got with a zip with a pole like this you can just undo your paracord and then you'll probably want a tool like this some sort of very thin needle nose pliers to actually getting it get the hyperlon through through the small gap like that but as you see with these ones you can get you can get different designs actually lasered onto them so we've got union jacks there i think they do american flags as well and it, it, they are big enough that you can you can grab onto them even with fairly thick gloves and if your hands are a bit cold they, they do have that nice surface area good size to grab onto they also make this stuff which they call their uh, loop anywhere and it looks like that and as you can imagine that just slots in between your pals webbing any molly vest also works on all the uh, six uh, 612 rigs from first beer literally just just feeds into the slots and sort of hooks in quite securely actually and it just means you can have velcro loop absolutely anywhere on a pals vest it means you can put on all your patches and all that good shit all right guys so that was a quick little overview little look at the whiskey 24 what the fix straps uh, and their loop anywhere and their zip pulls various laser cut items very good stuff of course there'll be a link down in the description box to their website check them out american company but very impressed with their customer service no problem there shipping to the uk is very good for the guys in britain watching uh, very very reasonable considering what some companies in the states charge if, if you're not in the states it's frankly xenophobic frank to be honest um, but yeah no problems there so yeah check out the link if you're interested pick a few up they're not massively expensive at all they're really worth trying out you know you can pick up a couple for not much and if you don't like them if you don't think they're worth the money over malice clips or whatever then you know very you've got very little to lose in terms of that like a few bucks so you might as well go for it so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys check out facebook etc below instagram all that good stuff give it a thumbs up if you could please and uh, i'll see you next time